Inktober is a 31 days drawing challenge on Instagram. In this video I tell you why I want to join Inktober this year and how I prepare for it. Hello, this is Marieke Blokland from blognow.nl and welcome to a new episode of Art Journal TV. It is the middle of September and I just saw that on Instagram the 31 prompts for Inktober are announced. Instagram at Inktober. And uh, last year I really wanted to, to join and I did. And the year before I really wanted to join and I did. And both years I did not finish. I have my, uh, my journal of last year here. And I really prepared myself last year. I made uh, a very nice... Uh, first page with all the prompts for Inktober 2016 and I started Let me show you. It was the first day the Second day And then day three and four Day five This was day six Day seven in pencil struggling already Day 8 in pencil, and that's it. I'm only human, I know, but this year I really, really, really want to do it. My uh, last year 8 year old daughter, Mathilde, uh, joined me and she loved it, but she only did like 4 prompts. And this year she said to me, she's 9 now, Mom, can we join Inktober again? I loved it last year so much. Well, we only did four prompts together and she was so eager to start it that well uh, of course my m mother heart broke a little because I uh, did not uh, keep my my promise to her last year like le yes let's do this together but we only did four times it's of course it's also fun but I just really want to do something like that I've always been a person who, who loves this kind of challenges and um, uh, I love a challenge and uh, often when I want to do something I, I, I do it and I not always but I often um, bite my teeth in it but not if I have to do something small each day it's really like a big thing for me and uh, I know it's going to be tough but I really am going to do it and um, in order to succeed I thought uh, I just had to prepare myself even better than last year and that is what I would like to show you in this video because I thought it would be fun to make a jotter journal for Inktober 2017 and it is going to be a jotter journal with um, 32 pages so I again make one first page with all the 31 art prompts but I'm going to make a journal um, for uh, the travel planner so I can make an insert for this travel planner but if you want to join and you don't have a travel planner you can also make it small so that it can fit in one of your pockets for your journal or if you're just an art journaler or journal lover you can just also make a small book that you can toss in your bags so um, Yes, I really want to make it easy and well prepared and we are going to do this. I thought it would be fun to make it a together thing because I'm really going to do this with my daughter. So I thought of the hashtag Inktober together. <laughs> so if you're joining me and my daughter Matilde, uh, please follow me uh, on Instagram. That is Instagram at Marieke Blokland. And we are going to use the hashtag Inktober together. Let me repeat, Inktober together. I really hope that uh, this together thing is going to be a big together thing. So I invite you to join me with your kids or if you don't have kids with your parents, your uh, husband, your wife, your sister, your brother, your friends whoever I think dogs don't draw very well maybe perhaps you can try 
Without further ado, let's make a jotted journal together. In this video, I would like to show you how I decorate the first page of this Inktober jotted journal that I've created, especially for Inktober. If you want to learn how I create these jotter journals, please go to the next video on my YouTube channel. I'm going to do a cool hand lettering trick in this video and I'm using a dip pen and a Molotov masking refill, which is uh, a masking liquid. You will need uh, some kind of paper, paper tissue or something to protect your paper because you may drip onto your page. I'm going to write my title here with the refill. I'm just going to um, add a tiny bit of the masking um, liquid onto my dip pen. So I leave this to dry. I'm taking a tiny bit of black acrylic ink. This is black acrylic ink by Talens. And I'm going to dilute it a bit with water because I don't want to use it too pure. And I'm going to make a stain here over this title. First splattering a bit because I don't want to add too much, but I do want to cover the word because that is where the title will show once dry. Just dabbing a bit here and add a bit more of the splattering here. I think that really suits the theme of Inktober. Okay, that's it. I think this is enough. And now I leave this to dry. While drying I spilled a tiny bit of the ink and now it's here on the cover. But, oh well. By the end of October it will hopefully be very inky and smudgy anyway, so I couldn't care less. So I'm g the ink is dry now, I can uh, take it off. I usually just use my fingers for this. Yay! This is really nice. So I've written everything with pencil and I'm going to write it with the actual fine liner. I'm using this Zebra Extra Fine Brush Pen. I don't know uh, <laughs> what all the information on the pen says because my Japanese is not so good. But it is a black Japanese uh, brush pen by Zebra Extra Fine. I really hope that you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. And uh, please make sure to follow me on Instagram. And I hope to see you soon. Bye!